Hamas rejects Israel's offer of a week-long truce. During this time, the terrorists were supposed to return about 40 hostages, including women and children. An article in the Wall Street Journal states that the Palestinian faction opposes any agreement until the IDF withdraws from the Gaza Strip and also releases all Palestinian prisoners. Tel Aviv does not agree to such conditions. In a televised address to the people, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu stated that any truce will be purely temporary and the war will end only when Hamas is eliminated and all hostages are released. Anyone who thinks we will stop is detached from reality. We will not stop conducting military operations until all our goals are achieved. The destruction of Hamas, the release of our hostages and the removal of the threat from Gaza. All Hamas terrorists from the first to last are the walking dead. They have only two options – surrender or die. The Israeli military is planning to conduct a series of ground, air and sea operations against terrorists in the area of the city of Han Yunis. To avoid large civilian casualties, Tel Aviv is distributing publicly available maps covering approximately 20 percent of the city of Han Yunis, where evacuation zones are marked. The ground operation continues. The north of the Gaza Strip is approximately 90 percent under Israel's control. Israel continues to develop the operation in the south of Gaza towards Iarafiach and Han Yunis, and what we call the Central Gaza Brigade. It has not yet been fully affected there either. Now they have begun to work on it. And in parallel, actions to free the hostages are taking place. In addition to Hamas militants, Israel is also fighting another neighboring terrorist group in Lebanon, Hezbollah. Terrorists again fought at Israeli territory. In response, the IDF deployed fighter jets that attacked Hezbollah's operational command center in Lebanon. There is an understanding that something needs to be done with Hezbollah. Either there will be a political decision when Hezbollah is forced to move away from the border and the state of Lebanon, which can hardly be called a state will play a role in everything related to the control of the territories, protection of its own border, or the Israeli army will have to take large-scale active actions so that Hezbollah is defeated and the situation is changed. Apparently, this will be all decided after the main phase in Gaza ends. Despite Hamas' refusal of Israel's proposal to introduce a week-long truce, experts are already noting a decrease in the intensity of missile attacks. The number of attacks has radically decreased in recent weeks and days because most likely Israel is reaching the largest missile ranges in Gaza, from where missiles are launched. By the way, today most missiles are launched from the perimeter, where quote-unquote evacuated civilians are concentrated, quote-unquote uninvolved Gaza residents who choose Hamas, and the shelling also comes from there. The United States is calling on Israel to reduce the intensity of fighting. At a press conference, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that Washington expected Tel Aviv to transfer military operations to a phase of less activity, during which more targeted operations would be carried out, focused on the Hamas leadership. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Nikita Skoblikov, UATV News.